packet loss. It is something that plagues lots of gamers and stops them in their tracks. Packet loss can really slow down your computer, your connection in any game, and that's why we're gonna go over it today and make sure you don't have any packet loss. And if you do have packet loss, we're gonna tell you what's affected and the steps to take to fix it. So if you are having bad ping, you wanna pay attention because usually most things will say after the bad ping what the current packet loss is. If you have packet loss, then you definitely wanna continue following along. If you just have bad ping and you have zero packet loss, you may wanna check out another video. I'll go ahead and pop one up here for you to check that out. Or you could also go ahead and check out no ping. It's down below. It's a service that I'm affiliated with that does go through and help get you better ping if it's location based. So what exactly is ping? Ping is basically your computer sending data. That's what it's doing. It's saying, sending the data, getting it back. Think of it kind of like the old school game ping pong. You hit it, it comes back to you. That's what a ping is. So we're gonna go ahead and test, see it where we're having issues, which we aren't, but show you an idea of what it looks like. So what you can do is go ahead and use a ping plotter. We're gonna do this from the phone for a few reasons. One, if you have an Xbox, Switch, PS4, phone, this is gonna simulate the Wi-Fi connection. So that's a good thing. If you are someone that is on PC, just go to this website, pingplotter.com, and they have software you could download for free to do the exact same thing we're gonna do here. Now keep in mind, if you are using a computer and you are hardwired, the results are gonna be better. Probably about four times better. Having a, a exact hardwire connection is a lot better than having Wi-Fi. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump in here and see what we got here. So once again, you'll find it in the app stores. It's just ping plotter. There it is in the top left. Let's go ahead and click on it and get into this. And guys, if you are new here and you like tech fixes, tutorials and gaming, make sure you go ahead and smack that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. So with this, we have a few things here. It's gonna say start a new trace. We're gonna go ahead and choose Google because I think it is one of the best ones. I've already tried this once, so we're gonna go ahead and just do create new. You're gonna see here zero packet loss for me. I have a very good connection, so I don't usually have issues. But if you did, it would show packet loss. It would pretty much come up and tell us right here. Also, it's saying, you know, it looks like everything's running really good for me. So there's a few different places it's going to yell at you. It'll say, like, it'll start saying how much percent of a packet loss you have right here if there would be packet loss or somewhere down the chain. So with all this, what we want to do is, oh, see, we had a 5% there for a moment. <clears throat> So there is a little bit of packet loss here. Let me go ahead and explain what's going on here. First of all, if this packet loss would be number one, number one is your computer, the connection to your router, or the router itself. So if one is giving bad information, that's what's going on there. So what you wanna do is either swap the cable, that's usually the best thing if it is a connected device. Uh, restart your router and modem if you haven't done that. Just unplug them for 30 seconds, plug them back in. That'll go ahead and refresh them. You may wanna also restart your device as well if you haven't in a while. And see if that helps. If that does not help, then it could be, we got the cable out of the way, so we know it's not the cable at that point then it's either the router or the computer. So what I would do is if you are renting the router, which most people do, it's not really a good idea in the long run. <laughs> it could get very expensive, but most people do rent it from their service provider. Call them, they'll come out and they'll replace it for you with another model. 
There's also a reset switch on the back of it. You could try that as well if you feel comfortable with that. So that should go ahead and take care of number one and take care of that packet loss. So say number one is fine. Say the error is on number two. Number two is going to be your router to your modem or a little after that. So basically, if it's number two, it's saying the cable between your router and your modem is bad. The modem itself is bad. Or it could be a problem outside your house going to the poles themselves. So what I would do first is troubleshoot your modem first. Again, probably as a reset button. You should have already restarted it by now, so it should be okay there. If it's still an issue after you eliminate your router and you change that wire between your modem and router then it's going to be an issue going on outside so you can try calling your company see what they can do it's going to be tough number three is again a pole outside or the cable company itself with that they have like a big I guess you could say a, a head end it's called. It's a large area where all the connections go into. There could be a problem there. If you are experiencing problems and no one else is, it's probably not that. It's probably somewhere on the pole, a link from your house to the, to the box that's causing the issue. If you're having issues and a bunch of other people in the neighborhood are having problems as well, you can go ahead and tell the cable company about it. They're probably not going to fix it right away. It's going to take a lot of calls. It's going to take everyone calling in because those are expensive to fix. If you can go through and get them to fix it, then that should take care of your problem. So now number four and on. We're not going to go through all 14 of these. It's just four and on. So if it's four or after, basically that's an issue on the network itself outside of your reach so with that it's basically like you're connecting the dots to where you're going to google you already connected your dots from your house to the cable company and outside of the cable company now there's a, a break in the chain to get to google so a lot of that will fix itself the network will notice a problem and route around it or people will just simply fix the problem. It usually takes one to three days. Sometimes it could be even faster if it does retrace around it. And with that said, that should automatically fix itself. If it is number four or on and it doesn't go away, the next thing to do is you can try something like getting a service to go ahead and reroute you. No ping is a service that I'm affiliated with. They're down below in the comments and in the description. You can go ahead and click that link. Basically what they do is they have their own servers and they route correctly and they're always monitoring what goes on. So they find the problems and route around you. Like I said, the network should do that automatically, but if they're not, then no ping would be the one for you. No ping will also take the quickest route and they have their own servers. So it's it's a lot different and it's a lot more reliable. So you could check them out if you're interested. With this, this should go ahead and tell you where your problem is, identify it, and fix what the issue is. If you're still having issues after this, you let me know in the comments. I think this is covering everything, but if for some reason you're seeing something that I'm not seeing, let me know in the comments and I'll try to reply to you and get this fixed. I really do hope this helped you. And if you want to go ahead and check out other videos, I have a great gem of a video that isn't really suggested too much anymore, but it fixes ping a lot of times. Go ahead and check this video out. It'll help you out. I'm telling you, it's a good one. And yeah, I will see you over there. I hope this fixed your problem.